Hello again. Last week we discussed important concepts in statistics like uh, populations and samples and how we infer population values that we never know from samples. We also talk about empiricism and we talk about why in science you need experiments. But if we put everything together, there is something missing here. Is that how we do experiments? How do we extract knowledge from samples to infer populations? So that's actually the topic of this week. You will remember from last week that we discussed about rationalism and empiricism, and we conclude that science is empirical. But empirical has also a problem, is the so-called problem of induction. Induction is how we thought science works. So let's suppose that you observed many mammals, and mammals do not lay eggs. So then you conclude that all mammals do not lay eggs. Then you find a dog. Dogs are mammal, therefore you conclude that dogs do not lay eggs. And you're right, that's the principle of induction. But what if you find the platypus? Platypus are mammals, but platypus lay eggs. That impose a problem. Important, induction is not possible in natural science. There's always a platypus waiting to be discovered. How do we tackle the problem of induction? Well, David Hume was already aware that there was a problem with induction, and many scientists have coped with that, and they came up with pretty much the same solution. But it was probably philosopher Karl Popper, the one in this book, that came up with a general framework of how science worked. So what is the solution to the induction? Well, it's the so-called hypothesis-driven science, or deductive science. Let's suppose you start with a hypothesis, mammals do not lay eggs, and then you observe the platypus laying eggs. So your hypothesis is not valid anymore. But that's fine. You create a new hypothesis based on your new observation. Now, your new hypothesis will be mammals do not lay eggs, except some mammals that have a specific bone structure, and you call them monotremes, and they do lay eggs. Now you go into the wild, you sample more mammals that do not lay eggs, and then you find another monotreme, they call echidna, that do lay eggs. So your hypothesis is now supported. And that's how science works. Important, in science we need hypotheses.